A new community threatened by flames tonight and the hot weather playing a dangerous role in all of this. And you can see the power of the Cedar Creek fire from the smoke just billowing from the flames near Sholo. In fact, it is so thick, it is showing up on ABC 15 Desert Doppler. Uh, just in one place now being evacuated. That is happening right now. Yes, let's go ahead and check in with the ABC 15 Live Desk. Katie, what's the latest you're hearing there? Yeah, we've been updating this for you all afternoon. Now people in Forestdale being asked to evacuate over to Sh Snowflake Junior High School. This fire is at 2,500 acres and growing fast. What's more, the flames are about a mile from the next trigger point. That's the point when homes have to be evacuated. So pre-evacuation orders issued for Sholo. Pine Top Lakeside, McNary, Fort Apache, and Honda. But again, people in Forestdale already being evacuated to Snowflake Junior High School. Also, part of uh, US 60 is closed down at this hour as well. Diana Rodriguez joins us on the phone uh, with the American Red Cross. You all are opening a shelter quickly. How soon are our are, are doors going to be open and people able to stay there? Um. The doors to the shelter will be open at approximately 7.30 this evening. Uh, at that time, we'll be ready to receive uh, shelter uh, uh, evacuees for the shelter, and they'll have food, water, and everything they need to um, relax and try to kind of get their wits about them after this uh, fire. Yeah, for sure. Diana, you and I have been on uh, plenty of fire lines together. How does this uh, sort of relate in perspective to what we have seen out there? Because we're seeing this thing take off pretty fast. Yes, um, and what I can speak to is that the Red Cross uh, was put on alert uh, a couple hours ago, um, and now we uh, have been told, open the shelter and prepare to receive the evacuees. We don't have a number at this point. Uh, but we uh, are equipped to handle as many as they can send us tonight. This is definitely your busy season. I mean, it was just days ago that we spoke with you and you were opening another shelter just across the state. Exactly. And uh, it's, it's a dry season and uh, we've got a long summer ahead of us. Yeah, we sure do. I know a lot of people down here in the valley and all across the state it may not necessarily be in uh, the fire's way, but they want to do something to help something to take action. How can they best do that to support what you all are doing for people in the fire line? Well, right now we've got uh, volunteers uh, standing by and getting ready to open that shelter, and we, we feel like we're uh, well equipped with staff and uh, supplies. Uh, but we can always use more volunteers. Um, as I said last week, there are going to be more fires, obviously. Um, so we're, you know, our, our focus is um, call. Uh, if you'd like to become a volunteer, we need more people to help us in shelters and other Red Cross um, uh, shelters that are going to likely rise up. Yeah, we hope that the monsoon moves in quickly and helps assist all our fire crews out there. Diana, thank you so much for joining us on the phone. We're also hearing that people outside of the Cedar Creek Fire in the Sholo area are in such a rush to get out of town that there are lines at the gas stations. And in fact, we're hearing from some ABC 15 viewers who are telling us they're filling up and they're seeing the signs go up that say they are absolutely out of gas. So the rush is on right now.